It's a little bit queer here, a little bit dark here, but I don't mind it. You got Hi, I'm here with Matto Lucas. Hello, Matto. Hi, how are you going? Now, you are the curator, is that correct? Yes, gallery manager and curator of Fetish. And so you're curating this particular exhibition? Yes, exactly. She's a graphic designer. She primarily works with text, but she's doing photographs for this exhibition. Um, so she's looking at voyeurism, mostly in her work. Uh, the the centrepiece is looking at products. So voyeurism is the sexual fetish of watching people, and that can range from watching people have sex to just watching people perform everyday tasks. So this is like a mundane everyday task that this, like the title piece is called Margaret. So Margaret's performing a kitchen duty. It's very housewife. It's very modern, the modern kitchen, but someone's watching her. Um, yeah, so it's that sexual uh, feel. Now, I, I gotta tell you, there's gay, les- there's lesbians, there's male, female, there's all of that stuff in between, and I love this. <laughs> Me too. I, this is, uh, without sounding kind of uh, personal, this is my favourite piece of the exhibition. So, this is James McCullough. Um, he is a very prolific visual artist working in oil paints, and he's been working his ass off quite a lot lately. He's had a few exhibitions. He's an emerging artist, and he's someone to watch. So, uh, this is quite an exciting piece. It is actually a man. It is, yeah, it's uh, a a self-portrait dressed in drag. Um, He's a straight artist, which makes this all the more interesting because he's kind of got this uh, very subtle and um, kind of personal touch to his look at gay life, uh, mixed gender life. uh. Would you say that androgyny is making its way back? It totally is. It really is. Androgyny is bigger than it has ever been right now. Um, in art, fashion, design, everything, we're losing the idea of a sexual um, archetype and we're moving into a more androgynous look everywhere you go. So I think this has never been more um, perfect than now. Yeah, I would totally hang this in my living room. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Matteo, what can you tell us about this one? Lou Diamond is quite prolific in her work. She works quite well with illustration. She just churns them out. Um, She's quite wonderful. She's looking at mostly tattoo fetishism, but also looking at, uh, like, the pin-up and the idea of that 1950s uh, kind of naughty girl, uh, how conservative she is today and how we can make her more dirty. This is the most sold part of the exhibition. We nearly had all of them sold on opening night. So I think people really respond to an image they've seen before. They've seen the pinup girl and they've seen this 1950s identity of the housewife, but it's been reinterpreted in this kind of graphic design, illustrative way with the tattoos. So more modernised and it's quite popular. All right, now we're getting to that. Hey, we took some serious art now. Yes. Um, no, this is quite clearly a straight artist. Uh, look, very um, misogynistic and masochistic, looking at violence towards women and men in his next piece, but he's actually also looking at a few different levels. So on, on the surface, it's quite violent, but there are a few nuances beneath this. So this is actually vomit, um, swallowed and then regurgitated red ink. Um, he's looking at the vomit uh, fetishism and that kind of idea of eating, digesting, and sex. Now, tell me, Maddo, tell me a little bit about this piece. Uh, This is probably the most confusing piece of the exhibition, but one of the most exciting avant-garde pieces. So this is an installation by Brett Ludeman. He often does films, but at the moment he's kind of trying to make a statement about where we're at in society, valuing money over everything else. So it's a $50 bill ready to be eaten, digested and devoured by the public. It's not stuck down, it's free to take, and it's called Please Take My Burden. And it certainly reminds me of a lot of restaurants I've gone to where it's just like it's a really large plate with a tiny amount and it costs you $50. Mash it up, baby. Matto, thank you so much for your time. No worries. Thank you so much.